We gonna bounce back on the motherfucker, no question. Bounce back on who? Marlo, boss. Oh, he gonna fall. Marlo, Marlo ain't got shit to do with it. Marlo come get string like that. String died because of some other shit. What? He died because of some other shit, nigga. I couldn't fix it. I tried. That nigga String was right about this shit, man. That nigga was right. Fuck Marlo. Fuck this fucking war. All this beef over a couple of fucking corners. Don't matter who did what to who at this point. Fact is, we went to war, and now there ain't no going back. I mean, shit, it's what war is, you know? Once you in it, you in it. On a Sunday morning, y'all try to hit a nigga when he taking his wrinkle-ass grandmas to pray? And y'all don't hit the nigga neither? All y'all kill his grandma's crown? And by the time Sham say go, oh my damn near in the cab. Ain't enough y'all done violated this Sunday morning troops. No. I'm standing here holding a torn up church crown of a bona fide color lady. Do you know what a color lady is? Not your moms for sure. Because if they was that, y'all would have known better than that bullshit. Can't go through the front on this boy. So I'm thinking we're going to have to creep around the back. Get Devon on it. Oh, I got this for that other problem. Huh? Who this? Remember Fat Face Rick, right? I'm going to them co-op meetings with String. That's his cousin Trina. Oh, you mean Trina with the big old ass? Yeah, you own it. That's her work number. You know what she working at nowadays? She over at the Department of Social Services. So you think Omar getting a check? Uh, nah, not now, but I mean, once upon a time before uh, some fool gave little Omar a little uh, a shotgun, I mean, cocksucker was somebody's child, right? So I'm thinking somewhere down in them records is one or two names of Omar's people. You feel me? You sure you want us on Marlo and Omar both? I mean, Omar ain't come back on us since we got his bitch. So maybe... Look, I'm home, Charles. I'm home. What's up? Take care of Ben String? Me too, man. Me too. I need you to hit somebody. Who we hit? Clay Davis. The Clay Davis? Downtown Clay Davis. That's supposed to mean something to me, man. That nigga need to be got. Shit, straight murder ain't no thing. But this here's some assassination nigga, shit. I, told man. You. I asked you once, where'd you skip past the talking? Do what you feel. Joe ain't had nothing to do with it. Slim, you gonna make me hurt you, yo. Ask yourself, dawg. Why would Joe get Butchie up? If Marlo can make him talk, he puts Joe inside Joe big score. If Joe turned Butchie, I tell you, shit, I'll help you even. But it just ain't like that. Come on, yo. Finish. no intersection come that way you putting your driver in the line of fire man think on it he getting taken out car gonna crash now where that put you at mister look pick your targets drop them and move out quick who driving man? i'm under the wheel all right you make sure you slow down at the end of the block and toss your weapons and get rid of any shell casings that kick back in the car police can trace them shits toss the gloves too right Nah, hold on to them they gonna have that DNA shit all on them. Your brother way too kind-hearted. So I took him up under my wing. <laughs> you was just looking out for him, huh? I told him how I was gonna be. He needed to give up his bracelet and wear mines. And if he did that, I would be sure that nobody will punk him or cause him any bodily harm. That's what happened? You persuaded David to trade bracelets? Wasn't about to wear no murder bracelet. I could wear one with some bullshit charges on it. 
Shit, I thought I might get tip one out of here if they got to setting bells again. And you know where they sent him after Hunt? Last time I seen him, he was stepping on the bus to some other damn purge. I don't know which. Why would you do this? Why would you take my boy's name like that? Cause us all this misery. Respectfully, ma'am, I know how to jail. Your boy don't. Upgraded the office. Dark St. Don is a bad for my arteries. Why you just order a salad? Salad. The point is, is to go unnoticed. Who orders a salad in a diner? Come on, man. Get it. Salad. We all understand your decision to walk away. But in our line of work, you don't retire. You get retired. And retirement is always a bitch. Tell me real quick, what's the TV plans with you? Because obviously you were on The Wire for a long time. You're yep. an actor. Uh, what's coming up? Well, I got The Deuce right now. Uh, HBO just picked that up. I play a kid named Leon. James Franco is in it. It's about the, um, taking over the porn industry and uh, prostitution extortion in the uh, 70s. It's going to be amazing. Wow. Um, I want guys to stay tuned because, like, I'm not playing a, This is my first time not playing a gangster role. Well, I got another movie called Dermaphoria be out late summer. But this, I was so excited about getting this role that they're going to see me in a whole nother life. When you, and that's an interesting position because you're a big star in one world, right? Right. And in acting, you've had a nice success, but you're yeah. also hustling. Like, you just, it's, it's a craft that you learn later in and life. And you see the Malik Yobas in the auditions and you run into all these people and... I would be like, okay, dang, okay, I'm I'm, I'm coming up because I'm I'm reading oh, these reading same. with the good people. And then I got that we got a we got the number one web series transitions. Yeah, I gotta see and, I gotta see transitions. Oh, you gotta look it up. I play Adonis. I'm the the I'm the lead in it. Okay, it's crazy. We're shooting Checkmate right now. A lot of people are looking at it right now. Um, they pitching it over to different networks, and I I I guarantee, man, we should be getting picked up on that soon. It's crazy, too. You're going to love I'm it, I'm looking man. it up right now. Yeah, you're going to love it. When you get some time, some downtime, just check it out. The graphics, everything, the camera angles. How long are the episodes? Oh, uh, uh, man, sometimes they're a little longer than others. Okay, but, but they're like full episodes. Just yeah, like full a... episodes, yeah. But we're shooting the finale right now, Checkmate, and that's going to also be uh, distributed through um, BTLR, too. Anwar Glover, SAG actor. 
them guys gonna regret that they didn't kill me. Believe that. Just be happy the only grace I'd be more happy if you got me my money back. Maybe voice was statutorial, but what you're doing was illegal. It was just a game. Come on, come on. Is this some type of fine I gotta pay? <laughs> Cause I think a gunshot covers me, really. It all happened so fast. One guy was there, and the other just appeared at that moment. <laughs> yeah, and I got shot in my arm. Hey, I need to call my wife. <laughs> your wife? Man, forget your wife, Hollywood. I need to speak with my lawyer. Man, I'll be out of here by lunchtime. Man, I posted bail an hour ago. Y'all have no right to pull me back in here again. Come on, come on. You think I had something to do with all of this? She could only have gotten that rock track directly from you. <sighs> come on, man. Look, Zoe was a groupie. I brought her home after the show like a few months ago. Classic. <sighs> Look, she jacked that beat from my house. Then she tried to blackmail me. Look, I didn't pay her a dime. So I got a bullet shot in my head. So did Donald Paxton. Who had beat the family? <laughs> the whole Miami. They owe the money. Like, but, but not me. Come on, man. Look, if you guys don't mind, I have an appointment to get to. Good day, officers. Hardly. I always, I always stunk at sports. I always thought the pros were just a bunch of overpaid babies. Hey, I heard that. Good.